The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto, eighth chapter, text number forty two, given by his divine grace, A. C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on October twenty second, nineteen seventy four, in Mayapur, India. O Lord of Madhu, as the Ganges forever flows to the sea without hindrance, let my attraction be constantly drawn unto you without being diverted to anyone else. Prime Ananda Vishaya Matid Madhupati Asakrit Ratim Udbahata Adhya Gangi ma obham udannati. So in the previous verse, Kunti Devi uh, prayed to Krishna, Sneha Pasad Imang Chindi, please cut up my attraction, the rope, just like rope is cut. If our hands and legs are tied up with rope, and if you want to be free, then the knot is cut into pieces. So our affection for this material world <clears throat> has to be cut into pieces. That is the aim of human life. The living being Nobody knows when he drop into this ocean of material existence. Bhaktivinoda Thakur has sung, Anadi karama phale, pori bhavar nava jale. Anadi, Adi means the beginning of creation. And anadi means before that. This creation, this material world, it is created and annihilated, as is the nature of anything material. We have got experience from our body or any body. Everything here is created and annihilated. In big, big Empires like the Roman Empire, the Carthaginian Empire, the Mughal Empire, and so many empires, they came and they were annihilated. This is the nature. Therefore, Vidyavati has sung, <coughs> Kato Chatu Ranana Mari Mari Javata. Natuva Adi Avasana. Chaturanana means Brahma. The so Brahma, his life, duration of life is very, very long. We know from Bhagavad Gita that Sahasra Juga Bhajantam Arahatyas Brahma no Vidu. He is not also immortal. Uh, he is mortal, although he is one day he is equal to our forty-three lakhs of years multiplied by one thousand. But still, he is not immortal. When Hiranyakashipu pleased Brahma, and he wanted to give him the benediction. The Hiranyakashipu wanted that, please make me immortal. So Brahma says that is not possible because I, I myself is not immortal. Uh, nobody is immortal within this material world. And still we are attached. Uh, we want to be immortal. That is the psychology. Just like last night when the snake 
uh, we do not, we did not want to be killed by this snake. We become disturbed. Why this psychology? Uh, because we don't want to be uh, dead. Because we are eternal. Na hannate hannamane sarire. Neither we wish to take the trouble of uh, being changed of the body. Otherwise, why you became disturbed? We know, others may not know, that we shall not be killed, even bitten by the snake. Na hannate hannamane sarire. So why you become disturbed? What is the psychology? The basic principle is that we don't want to be killed. We don't want to change the body. Uh, we have got attraction for the body. Uh, even a, an animal or insect living very wretched condition of life, still if you want to kill it, it will protest. It will protest. No, no, I don't want to be killed. This is psychology. <clears throat> so, uh, the, our real business is how to attain that eternal life. That is real business. Uh, other business, they are not important. Tashaiva hetu prajatita kovita nanabhati jas bhramatam parja. This is the instruction that we should try how to become again immortal. We are immortal by nature, but we have been covered by another nature, external nature, Bhairanga <coughs> Shakti, because we have been entangled with this material body, we have to die. Otherwise there is no death. Najayatanam Ryatriva. The living entity does not take birth, neither it dies. Then why you are taking birth and dying? The, this question does not arise to the fools and rascals of this materialist world. Uh, I was talking uh, with one very big man in London, Lord Fenard Brockway. He came to see me. So I asked him this question. He was an old man. He was, a, I think, older than me. He was 84. Uh, so he said, yes, I will die peacefully. Okay. This question does not bother in any man. Uh, and I talked with that Professor Kotovsky in Moscow. He also said, uh, Shamiji, after death everything is finished. You see, big, big man in Europe, very exalted position, they do not know even that there is life after death. They do not know. And in India, I think when I spoke in Calcutta, the American uh, consulate, there is a club, Indo-American culture, they invite. So they gave me the subject matter for speaking East and West. In that meeting I said, yeah, we don't make any such distinction East and West because everything belongs to Krishna. But there is little difference between East and West. What is that difference? Here, even an ordinary man a cultivator, uneducated, villager, he believes in the next birth. He believes. Uh, he is afraid of committing sin. Oh, I will have to suffer in my next life. 
And in the Western world, the big, big men like Lord Fenner Brockway and Professor Kotaswi, they do not know that there is life after death. Therefore, to take birth in India is a privilege. It is a privilege. Ah, because it is not ordained anything. Therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Bharat bhumite manusya janma haila jar. Janma shathak kari karo paropaka. This paropaka doing well, fair activities to others. And that is meant for India. But the Indian should first of all make his life perfect. Bharat bhumite manusya janma haila jar. Janma shathak kari. First of all, the Indians are requested to make his life perfect. Because how to make him life perfect? The process and everything is in India. Ah, because here there is Bhadrasam Dharma, the division of the human society, Brahman, Chhatri, Vaishya, Shudra, and Ashram. Now these things are rejected by the Indians. But this is the most scientific method for making life perfect. This is most scientific method. This was the answer of Ramananda Raya when he was questioned by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Uh, what is the aim of perfection of life and how to uh, accomplish it? This is the question was given by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Uh, so the answer was immediately, Varnasama Charvata Purushina Parapaman Vishnu Aradhati Pumishang Nanna Tattu Sukarana. The aim of human life, the goal of human life is to satisfy the Supreme Lord, Vishnu. Vishnu Aradhati. Nati Vidu Sartha Gatinya Vishnu. These rascals they do not know that human life is meant for uh, pleasing the Supreme Personality of God. Uh, the Kunti Devi, therefore, uh, <clears throat> requested Krishna, Sneho Pasad Imam Chindi, we are, uh, I mean to say, bounded, yeah, by the material energy in so-called Sneho Pasad, society, fancy, and love. People do not want to leave this material world. Even at the time of death, I have seen so many persons. That is natural. The old man is dying and he is thinking that so many of my business remained unfinished. So he calls his dear son, my dear son, if, if you, you take charge of the family, and so many things I could not finish, you do it. You see? He does not know where he is going. Hmm. I have seen in Allahabad one big man, he was dying at the age of fifty-four. He was of my age. And he was requesting the physician, uh, my dear doctor, can you not give me four years more to live? so that I could finish my business. This is so much attraction. So much attraction. Uh, they sometimes cry that what will happen to my these boy, that children, that you. Uh, so therefore, the family attraction, uh, especially, uh, the family attraction is so strong that life after life, one is bound up again in this material world. And he gets one body. To get body means to suffer. 
to get material body, matras parshas the kontya, sitosna sukhudukkada. We are suffering the sitosna. Sometimes we feel some pleasure, sense pleasure. But actually you are suffering. Uh, just see, uh, we thought on the fourth uh, floor or third floor, such marvel, uh, I mean to say, level. Hmm? And still there is a snake. How it gone to such a high floor and that is also surprising. But it has managed to go there. That's a fact. And the snake means death. Sasatpita grihi vasa mritturi vana samsa. So you cannot avoid danger in any condition of life. This is material. But still they want to remain here. Death is in every step. Padanga padanga jada vipadang. This material world means in every step vipadang, danger. Such is the condition of material world. Still they are trying to adjust. Murha. Bahiratthamanina. Bahiratthamanina means they are thinking by utilizing this external energy, material world, we shall be happy. Nati vidu sārtha gatiṁ hi Vishnu. They do not know that, especially for the human being, the destination is to know Krishna. Vedaista sadvai aham eva vedam. All these Vedic literatures, all these philosophy, science, and everything, uh, that is the verdict of Srimad Bhagavatam. Jaduttama sloka gunanu varnanam. You may be talented in so many ways. You may be very big man, politician, or philosopher, or chemist or physicist, so many we are, we are awful. So why you should become big, big man? What is the purpose? The purpose is to understand Krishna, intelligence. So whatever talent you have got, it doesn't matter. Whatever you may be, you may be engineer. But if you are intelligent, actually, through engineering, you will describe Krishna. How Krishna is the greatest engineer. So that he is keeping all the planets floating in the air. That is engineering. You cannot do it. He is keeping gamavash. He has said, ahamojasadharayami, Krishna said. So, we have to understand Krishna like that. Krishna says like that, I am keeping all these planets floating. If you are a physicist, then try to understand how Krishna is keeping them floating. Uh, that is your perfection. Uh, that is your perfection. If you remain a physicist or chemist and don't understand Krishna, it is a waste of time. It is always tough time. Atapung vidija sreshta vannasama vibhagas sanu sitasya dharmasya sangsiddhi harito janam. We are division. Either you take it varna ashram or by occupation, anything. There must be some division. Not that everyone is the same. Somebody is engineer, somebody is medical man, somebody is chemist, somebody is philosopher. Somebody is Brahmin, somebody is Sudra, you take. Division must be there. It is not possible to make everyone all the same. That is rascal. That is means they, they have no knowledge. Just like the communists, they try to make one. They fail. 
That is not possible. Still, they are going on. Liberal class and the manager class. Now why you make two? So if instead of two, if we make four, what is the difference in philosophy? Huh? They could not do. That is not possible. There must be. Because Krishna says, Chatur Bannang Maya system, the fourth division is created by me. How we can uh, nullify Krishna's creation? That is not possible. So division may be there. It doesn't matter. Uh, that is created by Krishna. But still, there can be oneness. What is that? Sangsiddhi Harito Everyone try to satisfy Krishna. Then it is oneness. Uh, the same story, Udarindriyanam, that all our parts of limbs, parts of the body limbs and senses, they are working hard, very hard. What is the aim? To fill up the stomach. There is no other aim. Everyone is working so hard, uh, only for filling up the stomach, udarendriyana. Similarly, we being punamavi vāṅsa jīva bhūta, we are part and parcel of Krishna. So our only business is to satisfy Krishna. Then it is perfect life. That we have forgotten. Therefore Krishna comes and says, you rascal, you fool, you just surrender unto me, you'll be happy. Why you are planning so many things, rascal planning? That will not make you happy. Sarvadan Mahan Prabhu, you have planned so many rascal them, you give up all this. Simply make, take this planning, surrender unto me. Saranagat. Saranagat. That is the beginning of Vaishnava philosophy. Anukullasa Sankalpa. Anna vilasita sunnam jnana karma dana amritam anukullina krishna anusilunam bhakti uttama. This is one. Simply try to understand what Krishna desires and try to satisfy. This is perfection. Atapangi dijasreshta varnasama vivhagasa sanusthita sadharmasa sangsiddhi harito sanam. If you want perfection, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said this perfection. Bharat Bhumite Manusya Janma Haila Ja Janma Sartha Kori. What is that Janma Sartha? This is Janma Sartha. What is that? When you learn how to satisfy Krishna, then your life is perfect. Thank you very much.